Hi and welcome to my photography channel. I'm Emily and I am an OM system ambassador and I post video every Sunday about photography gear, tips and tricks. I am not paid to do my videos and I have not been asked to do them. So what you are getting are my own thoughts and experience. Why? Because I believe that we should all help each other and when I started, I was so thankful to the amazing Olympus and our OM system community for all the info they were putting out there. Now, that being said, for this week's video, I'm going to give you my impression of the M Zuiko 150-400 Pro as I shot with it for several months. Actually, for six months, to be precise and I shot in a variety of settings and conditions. I'm mostly going to go over some of my latest shots while in France a few weeks ago. So, let's get started! As I said, I had this stunning lens for six months now and I feel like I can appropriately talk about it as I am now familiar with it and I have used it in a variety of settings with the OM-1 and also the EM-1X and also the OM-D EM-1 Mark III. And uh, spoiler alert, I adore this lens. So let's start with a few basic specs. Because it is a micro four third, this lens is the equivalent of a 300 to 800 millimeter focal length at f4.5 if you are a full frame user. It has a built-in 1.25 teleconverter that you switch right here. It is super easy, it's basically here, very very easy. Uh, and this takes you to 187.5 to 500 millimeter which is the equivalent of 350 to 1000 mm. But you can also add extra converters like the 1.4 or the 2 times teleconverter. So really, it is an incredible reach that you can have. I mean, a 2 times teleconverter gives you a 1000 mm reach. So it's the equivalent of 2000 mm uh, if you are in full frame, and the focal length is f.11. That is insane. So, I mean, yes, this lens is not uh, light. I mean, it, it's not the 60mm macro, which is one of my favorite lens, because I do a lot of macro. But, I mean, really, for the reach you are getting, it is really not that heavy. I have been taking it on my daily walks, I attach it to my waist belt and it's completely fine. When I was out in the Pyrenees and in the Alps, I did a six hour, six and a half hour hike uh, with it on my side and I had zero problem. Well, okay, maybe I had one problem, teeny tiny accident. Um, I did lose my balance on a rock and because I am not used to carrying a backpack, I just I couldn't uh, regain my balance and I ended up flying headfirst uh, in the small rock and also <laughs> in the cow poop. That was not fun. So um, not my glorious moment, I have to say. And with my OM-1 and the 150-400 on, uh, I just flew and they ended up on a rocky path. Uh, and I flew head first and it was really really scary. I ended up with tons of bruises uh, but those guys were totally fine, just a few scratch on the lens hood. So really that says a lot about the quality build of the OM system. I'm super impressed. I wish my body was built like this. Now, another big plus of the OM system is the stabilization. And again, this lens is no exception. I mean, Olympus and the OM system are famous for this, so no worries there. Um, 
you just need to make sure that you don't bump the little stabilization button. Uh, I did that once or twice and I realized it pretty fast that hmm, my images are not sharp. What am I doing? Because I was moving all too much. Uh, so to me, this lens is really the perfect wide line lens. And if you have the money, that's my recommendation. Go and buy it. I mean, when you think about it, this lens is half price of some of the equivalent lenses with Canon and, and Nikon. So it is really a great deal for us micro full third photographers. Now, if you don't have the budget, there are plenty of other great lenses that would do, you know. Um, I would really recommend that you check Alex and Brooke's video if you need any convincing. Uh, I'm just going to put the, the link uh, down below and you can go and check uh, the, what they've done with this lens and a couple of other uh, Enzuico lenses and they compare them. So really any lenses made by uh, OM System and Olympus, great lenses to have. Now let's check off some samples. I paired the 150-400 mostly uh, with the EM1X and now with the OM1. And with the bird detection AF, we have on those two cameras. It is really, really easy to go out there and get some great images. The EM1X that I'm using right now to film and the OM1 that I have right now, uh, they also have canine and feline detection AF. Uh, but really, in my experience, it does much more than just bird, cats and dog. It worked on beavers, squirrels, it, it, it works on a lot of different wildlife. Um, so the only downside is that you have so much reach and you can get so close to your subject that sometimes you might need a little practice to find your subject in the field. So practice, practice, practice. Especially if you are planning a long trip and you invested a lot of money in this trip. Uh, you need to be super familiar with your lens and camera to get the most out of your future wildlife encounters. That's why I carry my lens every day and I practice with it every day. In terms of tracking your subject, uh, the AI is really out of this world. It's extremely accurate and I was able to keep my focus even when this talk was in flight and went behind a tree. Yes, behind a tree. Uh, I mean, I kid you not look at this sequence even when the bird went behind the tree my camera was able to keep the focus on the bird that is pretty insane uh, i mean i'm not saying that you won't lose focus from time to time because there was a few times uh, during my trip that i did but with the high burst mode that we have on our camera um, this really did not impact me at all and the uh, uh, number of images that were not in focus were really, really small in my experience. And um, looking at my images from my trip to Spain and France, it only happened when I had a subject with a crazy busy background behind me and everything was dark. So it had a little bit of trouble, but most of the time I had zero issues. So for the best setting to capture bird in flight, um, I'm going to show you my custom C1 uh, button. The speed is a starting point. Uh, I will really modify it depending on the condition. But you want to make sure that you have enabled all your focus point to help your camera find your subject. And also, very very important point, uh, you need to set it to CAF. That's what uh, OM system recommend. So not CAF plus tracking, which I used to do, it's CAF. So make sure that uh, you have the right setting. When I was in France, I spent hours and hours observing this colony of storks. There were maybe 25 individuals in the colony. And every mornings and nights, uh, I was out there with just my OM1 and the 150-400, observing them and capturing their daily life. It really was just an amazing experience and I got to know a few individuals uh, like this stork who turned out to be 
the most clumsy bird I have ever seen. Uh, it would very often miss its landing or bump into another stalk, bump into its partner. Uh, it was just really fun to observe it. You never knew what would happen. Unfortunately, um, it's kind of a sad story because a few days before I left, the nest came down as we had like horrible, horrible storms. And so three of their babies did not make it, uh, but two did and I was able to photograph them and hopefully they will be okay. You can see them in, in this picture. Um, because it happened so close to me leaving, I, I wasn't able to, you know, keep an eye. Uh, but, I mean, that's nature. So, um, you know, it's great that two of them are still here and surviving. Uh, another positive of this lens is that with the reach that this lens gave me, I was really, really able to observe them from a distance. And uh, when I was closer, I was able to get some really detailed shots and little moments in their life, like them bringing hair to their young right before sunset, or when they bought water during the mini heat wave that we had. Or uh, uh, one of the great things to observe is uh, when one of them flies back into the nest and they greet each other uh, as they return to the nest. Uh, they do that little dance and they call so so fun to observe uh, that's one of the photos i took so i really cannot wait to go back next year and capture more of their interaction and my kit i'm sure will be the same the om1 and the 150 400 because i mean um, this lens paired with the om1 it, it is really a workhorse i mean it's so sharp it's so accurate it's so fast um, I'm, I'm just really, really happy with it. And as I said, it comes with me every day, everywhere I go. So great lens to have. So to recap, as I said earlier, I've had this lens for six months now. And I really think that if you are a wildlife professional or a wildlife enthusiast and you have the budget, then this lens is just phenomenal. It is like the Ferrari of all lenses, and I'm very, very thankful I was able to, you know, buy this lens. So I hope this video was informative. Feel free to go and check my previous videos, and don't hesitate to post a comment or request below. And uh, thank you if you already subscribed to my channel, and for the new viewers out there, thank you for clicking the subscribe button and the like button below. Uh, it really helps me out, uh, it helps me grow my channel and uh, I really really appreciate it and it really encourages me to create new videos and new content for all of you out there. So until next Sunday, um, happy shooting and I'm looking forward to discussing with you in the comments. Au revoir, bye guys!